Shaq was not happy about Nikola Jokic winning his third MVP award. Nikola Jokic claims his third MVP award. Shaq, your thoughts? I don't like to rain on people's parade, but I'm not happy with this one. Congratulations to Joker, you're the best bad, big man in the league, but based on everybody's criteria, my criteria, stats, that stuffer, you guys' criteria, number one seed, which team has a better record, I felt Shea Alexander deserved it because I've been, I've been number two a lot. When I played my ass off, number two, so the fact that he has to start all over next year and try to win it again, I, I, I think it was... I, I, I know it's going to be hurtful for him. Hopefully he uses this to motivate him to win a championship. But I thought Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of only, you know, a few players that had 30 points 50 times, stat stuffer, great season. His team is number one. I thought Shea Gilgis Alexander was going to win it by far. But it's congratulations true. to Joker. I'm happy for him. Third time MVP. You really can't be mad at this vote, but no, the can't. fact that he has to start all over next year and, and, and win it over again, because again, I, I felt I was robbed two or three times, right? And I played my ass off. Stat stuffer won championships those years. Me personally, I would have gave it to Shea. You keep throwing stat stuffer out there. Does no, because that's my Nicole, criteria for does MVP. Does Jokic not stuff the stat sheet? Yeah, but not like a, no, but not no, like no, a, I mean, Shea. When really. Shea is one of the few players that had 30 points in 50 games, yeah, Ernie. Well, like, look at – but when you're talking and, about stuff in the stat sheet, and, look, at, look at all the triple doubles for Nikola Jokic. And look yeah, at his ranks but, in scoring, rebounding, okay, and assists. I don't he, think stat even, stuffing is, a, is an argument. Okay, either. but even doing all that, OKC was the number one they had Every year, idiots get on TV and talk about who's the best player. It never goes to the best player. It goes to who had the best regular season. You know, Shaq said he got robbed. Not every year he doesn't. Well, most of the time. It goes to the guy. Yeah. So, you know, Shaq said he got robbed. I don't know if he got robbed. I got robbed. Steve, I was the baddest Steve, mofo yeah, in the but league. It, but it, it, let's it, talk it, about it, now. It, it doesn't though. go to the best player. It goes to the guy who had the best regular season. Well, you season. know what? Don't name him most valuable player then. Uh, no. Uh, well, don't it's, name him most valuable the, player then. Well, it goes to the most valuable player in the league. It, that was me. It does most not. Most valuable player in the league. That's Shea Gilders Alexander. Well, don't name it that then. Let's stick to it. Don't name it that then. It's subjective. First of all, there's nothing wrong with Shaq choosing Shea as his MVP. He had an amazing season, and he's one of the best players in the league. But his reasoning for doing so makes zero sense. First, he brought up the team record. But Denver and OKC have the exact same record. Then he talks about stat stuffing. Shea is an elite scorer, but he's not a stat stuffer in other categories. And definitely not to the level of Nikola Jokic or even Luka. Both of these players nearly averaged a triple-double, and Luka averaged even more points than Shea, so he was better in every category. But putting all that to the side, Shaq is using his own personal loss in 2005 as a reason to put down Jokic. He is still upset that Steve Nash won an MVP over him. What would you like to get off your chest? It was this little good-looking David Beckham little guy running around <laughs> like a gnat. Oh, he would always beat me out in the MVP voting. But these circumstances are nowhere near the same. Shaq versus Nash was a very close MVP race with Shaq having better stats, but Nash having a slightly better record. The reason Nash won is because he was the engine of the best offense in the league. It's the same reason he beat Kobe the following season, who has a better argument than Shaq, but Shaq insists that he was robbed twice. Not twice over the diesel. <laughs> twice, two times in a row. The argument this season is over two players with the exact same record. One has much better stats overall, while the other is a better scorer and a better defender. You could have made an argument for Luka as well, as he's had the best stats, but his team isn't the greatest. This is not a robbery. This happens every season. Last season, Joel Embiid won MVP, but many thought that Nikola Jokic should have won. This happens every year, and it's the result of a subjective award. If Shaq wanted to make the case for Shea, instead of bringing up his own MVP loss from 20 years ago, all Shaq had to say is that Shea is a better scorer than Jokic, a better defender, and even though the teams have the same record, Shea's surpassed expectations, while Jokic was expected to do this. But instead, he had to bring up his own MVP loss and talk about how great he was in 2005. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.